Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Crowdsource Challenge in Farming Simulator 19, where I'm literally just after finishing the last episode. I'm being good for once. Today, we're going to be back at it again with that canola. Um, after we sorted out the cows and the pigs yesterday, I feel like it's about time we get a bit more canola in storage today. Um, I'm kind of thinking almost to just reseed this field in canola, because the, the yield is a lot less than I was anticipating. Uh, not 100% decided one way or another on that just yet, though, so plans can change. Um, I'm sticking in my head with the wheat, or the bar, the, you know, the wheat slash barley or corn. Um, plan. Depending on where we are financially. On the note of financials, selling the milk was a really good idea. Because it just kind of... It just popped us back up into a decent number that I can buy seeds with. Which is going to be the next big um, conundrum I have. Um, in fact, the next big conundrum I have is I want to get field... 18 seeded as soon as I can and growing as soon as I can um, because I want to try and stagger fields 18 and 19 from growing at the same time. Field 15 will just randomly stagger itself because grass actually grows quicker than crops um, so there'll be times where that's just grown by itself or grown with field 18 or grown, grown with field 19 or just doing weird things because grass grows at a different rate, runs under slightly different rules um, I'm actually going to address a question I was asked in Giant's Discord as well. Um, which I don't really know, I don't know, uh, and I don't think it matters to the person who watches my videos. Um, but I was asked, and it's a good question, which is why I'm addressing it. I was asked if grass plays, effectively if grass plays by the same rules as other crops, and then is it affected by uh, fertilizer, which it definitely is, lime, which I'm not too sure about, and plowing, which I would assume it is. Um, and so I just told him, like, I can only presume that it plays by the same rules as the other crops. It would make sense that the base rules for, like, all crops and grass is a crop are the same, because otherwise it would be kind of weird and silly for, like, one crop to just have its own little rule set. Um, within the game, which I guess sugarcane kind of does, and potatoes and sugar beets kind of do as well, but it wouldn't make sense for grass, which is a, one of the older crops in the game, to have a different rule set. Um, it, it's from a slightly more basic era of farm sim where, oh yeah, I've got crop destruction on now. Aha! Aha! The, fir the first bite of crop destruction has happened, and the second bite has also happened. Because I forgot to turn on the harvester. That's quite a lot of canola that I've just wasted. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm gonna be... I guess I could do... I guess I could do tram lines now with crop destruction on. <laughs> But I tend to never be the most, or the neatest with tram lines, so that might not be the greatest of ideas. Um, this is... I'm still hoping for a great demand on oats soon. Um, the oats seemingly aren't used by any of the animals, so they're going to be kind of my cash crop. Um, which is unusual, because usually it's, you know, usually canola is the cash crop, but that's used by the pigs. Um, oats, comically, I know that they produce straw, which is really useful for the animals, but... Even if I were to chop the straw, I'd probably make more money out of oats than anything else. Um, just because I'm not gonna be... gonna drip feeding it to the animals. And tipping away at what storage there is. Um, which kind of makes me want to grow 
another field of oats and just chop straw in it. But the straw bales brought in a lot of money. Um, so there's also the temptation there to go a bit ham and see this field in oats. So that if and when the great demand does pop for oats, we will probably never need money again. Um, <clears throat> in terms of things that I'd like to get um, on the map, just while things are going along nicely, I would... Oh, do I not have it installed? Do I not have them activated? I do not. Oh, that's a bit annoying. Um, <laughs> I'd like to get... No! I would like to get um, solar panels going and get, start kind of a, I guess, a solar farm in possibly like field 20 kind of area because that looks like it's mostly useless. Possibly field 4 or 10, but one of the in one of the smaller fields for sure, that is going to just turn into kind of a solar farm. Um, just because there can't be any rules about, <laughs> about uh, no setting the solar energy f f until a great demand. So that'll be just constant income coming in. Um, kind of for the same, under the same logic as me selling the milk is like, it's just going to be coming in regardless. And, you know, it, it's just useful. Um, we do need to make more TMR for the cows, but that's not going to be happening today. Today is very definitely a harvesty kind of day. And uh, hopefully, hopefully, I'll be able to stream this evening. Um, you might notice I'm recording this 20 past 7. On, you can't see this, but it's Wednesday. It's Thursday for me, um, which means that I wasn't streaming. And the reason that I wasn't streaming, if you missed that, was my internet just decided it didn't want to play ball today for me. And that happens sometimes. And somebody decided to start spouting off, "Oh, Dave, you should buy a better internet." Yes, because the internet that I have isn't the best available. It actually is, and the setup that I have isn't the best that I can afford because it is. Um, my entire setup is absolutely maxed out. There's maybe one thing I could do to make it better, but that runs other risks. Um, namely, that I saturate the connection constantly and end up with even worse internet somehow. Um, The bail guessing is continuing for... No, it's not because I've forgotten how many bales actually got off field 15. I'm so sorry. Because I'm doing it... I did it slightly differently when I redid it. Oh, that's annoying. I, I could run around and count them. I will run around and count them um, after this and write down the number. So the, the, bail, the bail guessing for Fuel 15, how many hay bales do you reckon I'll get off Fuel 15, is going to continue um, at great pains to myself because I forgot to take note of how many bales I got when I was redoing stuff uh, the, the other night. <laughs> Which, that's painful when I do that. It's really painful when I do that because it's just, I feel stupid. Um... Ooh! What date is it today for you guys? This is going to be Saturday's video. So it'll be 2nd of March. Um... By the time you see this, this has probably already happened. <laughs> so, sorry I didn't like give advance warning. There probably would have been some in the Discord. But the cat has come upstairs again. And everybody's shouting at the cat. Good. Um, 
SpaceX are doing their first test flight of the new Dragon capsule today, or did their first test flight of the Dragon capsule today, I guess. It's probably better for when most of you guys will watch this. Um, and that means that the they're just sending up to the ISS, so I, by the time I get up today, I'll know whether it was succeed, successful or not. Which is kind of nice, but I would have liked to see the launch, and I'll probably watch a replay of the launch, because I like watching launches. Um, and then I, I believe the plan for like that capsule is that it's, if memory serves, going to be immediately turned around and put onto another Falcon 9. Um, to do an in-flight abort test, which is, as soon as I know when that's happening, I'm telling all of you guys, because, uh, that, that's the, that's the test that I've been calling, uh, the Boom Falcon, where it's highly likely a rocket is going to intentionally be blown up. <laughs> in fact, I think Elon Musk has said that he is planning on intentionally blowing up the rocket. Um... So that it's kind of a real world conditions abort. Um, so that could be one of the very, 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 very extremely few rocket launches where an ideal scenario is the rocket exploding. <laughs> Usually that's a bad thing, but Elon Musk likes his booms. Um, it's also why I like SpaceX's, they're a bit mental. There's also at some point, I think this month, March, I think, and this is very interesting to me and possibly some of you guys, I think they're planning on launching the Heavy again this month. I'd need to check Spaceflight now to get confirmation on that, but I think there's a Heavy launch planned for this month. Um, and it'll be the first time the he the Falcon Heavy is actually doing a mission, not just launching a car to Mars, because uh, that was just the demonstration test flight. What did you do to test your rocket? Oh, we launched a big lead weight up into space. What did you do? We launched a car because it was funny. Uh, but yeah, I think the plan is they're launching it, the Falcon Heavy with some test payloads. With some, well, with some real payloads that could easily go on a Falcon 9, but they're adding a ton of, I say a ton, several tons of additional weight just to, I've, just to test, um, just to prove that it can do what they say it can do. I've just noticed that the clock icon, this is why I've kind of got a bit distracted in the middle of that, that sentence, the clock icon in game actually shows the time. And I've never noticed this before. The the clock icon, unless it's just set to show 11.28 constantly, actually shows what time it is in game. Which, it, it, that's a really neat little detail that I never noticed. And possibly you guys never noticed, unless I just conveniently looked at it at the exact right time. Um, is it worth me? Yeah, let's just speed up time a bit and see if that... Oh my god, it does! <laughs> it shows the... Why is there an analog clock beside the digital clock in-game? That's really cool and completely pointless. That's an adorable little detail. I have no idea why that's a thing. I have, no, I have no problem saying, like, that's really cool, but completely pointless, therefore I approve. It's much easier to just look at the digital clock and look at the readout and looking at the analog clock and saying, oh, this is 11... in a bit. It's half 11 in a bit. It's looking like we'll actually get into the second half of the field today, which is uh, really quite nice. 
This field isn't going to produce anywhere near the amount of canola that I was expecting, though. Which is of mild concern. Because if memory serves, this is fully fertilized canola. Yeah, going to that area isn't going to help because that, that's partially harvested. If I just jump over in here... Yeah, this is fully fertilized, zero weeds. Canola. And the yield isn't what I was expecting. I was expecting a lot more. So I may end up replanting this with more canola. Or plant field 18 with canola. Because if I were to plant wheat or barley in field 18... This is, this is the conundrum I have. If I were to plant wheat, barley or oats, which are really the three other crops that I want to be growing a lot of... Um, they will produce straw, and me being me, I'll want to collect the straw. Which means more bale-heavy time. Um, if, however, I were to grow canola or corn in field 18, that would not produce straw because there are two crops that don't produce straw. Just by the way the game is designed. So I would then just have the harvest and maybe have like a straw-producing crop in here, which granted is a bit more annoying because of the weird shape of this field, but at the same time my straw, st my bale storage is going to be those two sheds. So it's going to be much easier to grab the bales and put them into storage. Such is the conundrum of, of Rainbow Dave. I mean, it's a good problem to have. I'm not. I'm not going to act like it's the worst problem in the world ever. It's a really good problem to have. As I don't know what crop to grow because there are too many crops that could make me a lot of money. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set a weird A B line here for this end of the field that is possibly going to be slightly angled. So I'm going to set A and then just drive forward over to where I'm going here. And set my B point there. Because the last thing I want to do here is get stuck halfway down a row with the pipe facing into the crop. Now, the upside of this is these are going to be quite long passes. So, this might actually be a lot more yield than I think. Because I think this is a slightly larger lobe of the field. In fact, I. I don't know, I think they're both kind of similar areas. It's kind of hard to tell with the field and the, t the kind of twin lobe shape that it is. It's looking like I've more or less got my guesswork on what the best straight line for this edge is going to be. It's looking like I might miss a bit just the very edge here. Depending on how the harvester wants to pick it up. No, we've... Oh, my God. <laughs> Just about. That is perfect. That is absolutely what I wanted to be getting... Having happened there. Um, not too sure why the canola is popping up sideways. In theory, the knives are working. Which Landy said the knives are animated on this. Oh, my God, the knives... Are, why are the knives animated? That's... Yet another pointless little detail. I mean, I'm, I'm not complaining about the knives being animated, but... It strikes me that it took the giants a bit... You know, that's something that takes time to do, and... It seems a bit pointless. Also, yes, I am continuing down this line, because I think I'm going to be nicking into crop again in a second. And I want to get as much of this field harvested as I possibly can. Yeah, look, we're starting to nick crop again right now, which is kind of perfect. I'm going to just empty the harvester at the end of this row. I know that this is just grabbing the teeniest, tiniest bit of crop possible, but every little helps. You know, probably wasted quite a lot of time for about 15 litres of canola, but still. Let's get the uh, six hour on the go. 
And this is just gonna go straight into storage because um, I feel like the pigs have enough canola now. And it's just gonna be really a case of just making sure everything's... Well, making sure we've got canola in storage so that if a canola great demand does pop we can um, just grab it straight away and go. Assuming, of course, the field's fully harvested. Uh, the plan when there is a great demand, by the way, is um, to rent uh, the man, or oh, the Phoenix Tatra, or the Tatra Phoenix, even, uh, or the man truck, either or, it doesn't really bother me. And we're also going to be renting, if I can get it over there real quick, this trailer, the KS950, this is a tipper trailer. So it's not the biggest, you know, if I wanted to get the biggest trailer, I'd definitely go for, you know, either the Load King or the SB2. But the KS950 is kind of what you'd see as a, a bulk hauler of grain in the UK and Ireland. Um... So that's kind of something that I'd, I'd literally going for, just for the sake of realism. It'll probably be the man truck, because I don't see many tractors out on the road. Um, just simple, simple, basic reasoning there. Now the hope is... Um, I am planning on doing a small bit of off-camera work. I'm going to... This is going to be the last video I record today because I kind of want to get some stream work done. Or some work done in today's stream. So there's going to be a bit of a real world time gap in between this episode and the next one. Because I want to get the stream done today and then record at least one video. Then kind of get a few recorded back to back. Um, because I don't want to do the same job on two videos back to back. Or two like videos that are quite close together. Yeah, the animals do load in quite late because I just saw the cows ping into life. That's a weird thing that FS19 has decided it wants to do. Okay. Um, so after this video I get like a day where I can play X-Plane, which is... makes for a happy Dave because Dave likes planes and Dave likes playing planes and Dave wants to get on Vatsim and Try flying with actual ATC and learn the language. So I'm not entirely sure what my call sign will be. Um, for those, of, okay, I'm, I'm going to do a quick story time because this is something that is going to be relevant to the channel in the near future. Uh, the flights on Fridays are going to continue, and the hope slash aim slash purpose is going to be a world tour in almost entirely general aviation prop planes. There is, however, two legs, um, two parts of the route that I physically can't do without a full-size passenger jet. That's probably going to be a 737. I'm probably going to be just touching the very, very edge of its range. Um, and those two legs are in Hawaii going to and from because everywhere else I can figure out a sea route that I or a route that I can take that will take me over land or over sea within the range of a general aviation plane the only part of that tour uh, and I never actually fully explained it the the tour is going to be every world capital every state capital in the USA hence the Hawaii legs that I'm planning and um, all four capitals of the UK and Ireland, which hopefully, by the time this video goes out, will be done. That's uh, Cardiff and London are planned for uh, yesterday's stream, as it would have been. And tomorrow's stream as I'm recording this. Um, so, it's not something that's going to be quick. It's something that, even if I get two, three flights done a day or a week, is going to be um, I was going to say several months possibly you know well over a year and I might end up doing some videos of like certain flights um, that are maybe a bit longer that are 
you know, potentially quite boring. And I might even do some videos of some of the shorter flights as well, just to kind of keep the narrative together. Um, something that I'm planning on doing once I've finished recording, which hopefully will have already happened, is just scheduling up a, a load of streams to go live at two hour intervals, um, which you might have seen over the course of Thursday and possibly Friday. Um, because I've been quite bad at putting the archives live and I just want to play catch up again. But I think we'll finish about here. A bit of a shorter episode today just due to the fact that I don't want to over overwhelm you guys with canola harvest. Um, if I don't get to stream today, uh, I will instead do some off-camera work and get the hay baling done. Um, because the only reason I've got the crop growth turned off is to deal with the bales. If the hay is all baled up, then I will be quite happy to continue and turn crop growth back on and start seeding and, you know, having this be a normal farm once again. Um, but that is going to do it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll leave you by saying I've been Rainbow Dave. You've been watching the Crowdsource Challenge, as always. If you did enjoy... Hit the like button and don't forget to leave your comments below and rule suggestions are always welcome, even if they're not used. Um, until next time, stay safe and goodbye.